Um, top's going to come up to about here, so we're going to have to figure out, this is nice and tight, so we can use one screw cap here, one screw cap there. We are going to put doors in as well. There are doors for it and a rain shower package. All right, 100 and something year old door, never been used. So when the tub's not in use, we like it just slightly ajar, okay? We don't want the door latched shut while the tub's not in use, okay? It gives the seal an opportunity to dry out, and then it doesn't remember that depressed uh, position, okay? So go ahead. You can use your fingers to just pinch this up here, slide this down. When it gets to that locked position, it will stop, okay? Anything okay. short of that complete locked position isn't locked, okay? So um, for the shower, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn it to the picture of the shower, handheld shower right over here. Hot's on your left when you're facing me, cold's on the right. All right, I don't wanna get you there. <laughs> um, so we'll get that on right now. Now as you see this stem right here is pointing down. Right. This is actually the diverter, so once you flip it up, ah, you then have your rain shower head, okay? okay. If you want a little bit of both, you set it in the middle. Oh, you can do both. Okay. Yeah, absolutely you can. Um, now with this, I am going to shut it off before I do this. Up, down, left, right. Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey here. And uh, I'm unsure of how tall you are. So I just want to show you that if it's not tall okay. enough for you, all you do is, good. is simply pull all it right. off and then righty, tidy again on it. And it'll hold in that position. I'm, I'm just unsure of how tall you are. It'll, it'll that. lock as far as No, far as you just go. gotta know when tight okay. is tight, all right? Okay. It, when okay. your physical strength is good, that's gonna be enough to hold it up okay. there, all right? So say, um, those are the functions for the shower, okay? So now we're talking about taking a bath. This is how you actually control your drain. So when the drain stem here is looking up, your water's gonna drain right down. So we put it down, mm -hmm. your drain drops, okay? In case of emergency, in case for some reason this isn't working properly, uh, it is a cable drain. Go okay. ahead, just yoink it, okay? That's for emergency purposes, just so you don't have to do the hazard your way out of it. <laughs> um, but that's the drain function. Okay. So now when you're filling up the tub, again, we're going to turn the picture to the gooseneck here, which is going to help fill it up. We open it up all the way, let it fill, let it fill to above the jets. Okay. All right. And then once we got the water above the jets, you can go ahead and hit the air. The air is gonna be the small nickel sized ones and that's gonna turn the tub into a big rolling boiling pot of water. Kinda of agitate you all over, okay? And that's gonna be three speed. One, two, three, four. Okay. It was there, I was just pushing it too fast for it. Um, now you have your water jets. They're gonna be the two on each hip, the five on your back, two on your calves, and the four down there by your feet. On, 
off. Okay. It's going to be a whole lot more quiet when yeah. it has water running One through minute. it. Yeah, it's, they're not intended on doing so. But you can make it more forceful right back there by simply turning that lever or left or right. It. Yeah, and that's going to add air or decrease air to mm -hmm. make your jets more uh, forceful or not. Okay. All right. As far as cleaning goes, nothing abrasive, no Comet, no Ajax, no green side of the sponge that'll scratch up the outside. Okay. It's an antimicrobial material, so if you can spray it out of a bottle, scrubbing bubbles, 409, oh, any of those that'd things. Work. That'd work. Yeah. I think I got some scrubbing bubbles. <laughs> Absolutely, just not the abrasives, you know what I mean? Oh, the stuff okay. that's going to scratch okay. it up. So this stuff I got down here. If you can spray it, you're good. Do we <laughs> still need to need Yep, that we're going to undo the door. And one last little tip I have for you here, if you ever notice a little trickle of water come out right mm -hmm. here just go ahead wipe your door seal down all the way around okay small pieces of debris can get in there and kind of leave oh, a trickle okay. so just give it a wipe with a washcloth anything you see fit paper towel can you put a bath mat in there oh no I definitely wouldn't unless you have one that small. I no, don't recommend no. it. It's a non, I thought this what that was. Okay. It's not gonna be an it's not gonna be slippery down there though. Okay. The, um the grooves the texture down yeah, there the yeah is intended okay. on keeping it so your feet will be safe. Okay. Uh, okay, the grab bars are built into the frame. They're not going anywhere. Okay. And uh, other than that, I just have to fix a little bit of copper right back there. I okay. just noticed. Oh, I love it. How was your experience working with Tub today? It was awesome. Truly awesome. I enjoyed the guys. I enjoyed the conversation. Uh, every now and then I'd get in the way being nosy, but we got through it, and it was very enjoyable. The guys was uh, very professional, courteous, and kind, so I enjoyed it. What feature in your walk-in tub are you most excited to experience? Well, I... Um, I would have to scoop down in there. My uh, shoulders hurts a lot. So that's why I, I was getting, my calves hurts. Uh, the left one is uh, paralyzed, I don't feel nothing there. But the right one, leg, hip, back. So I think all the jets in there, I should be able to uh, get a good massage and stuff and then go to bed. Have a good night's sleep. Less pain, that's my hope, is for less pain. I'm 24, 24 pain. So, uh, and uh, I think it'll work for me. And if it, and if the tub work as good as the workers did, hey, it'll be awesome. <laughs>